How you doing? Hey. Welcome back. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Just typing some stuff. Getting some stuff ready. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day, and I'll tell you why. First of all, uh, I am negative for COVID. I, I don't know how. I, I'm better today. <clears throat> but if you heard me uh, a day or two ago, uh, Holly is positive. So, I mean, I've been in the house. I've been sick. I don't have COVID. I have symptoms. It's weird. Negative on a PCR. Whatever. All right, let's go, I guess. There's no way it's a false negative. Dude, I took... I, I if, if, that, if it's a false negative, then holy shit. I've taken probably eight at-home tests. All of them are negative. I took a PCR that had to get sent to a lab. Negative. At this point, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. That's just strange, right? Holly's fine, yeah. She's fine. She's getting over it. She's she's over the uh, over the hump. Jeremy, I got COVID and it took three days after I had symptoms to show up positive. I mean, I've... It's, it's been three or four days, five days, whatever it is, right? It's been a while. It's been at least four or five days. And I, I, I'm, I feel better today and a little bit into yesterday. So I, the, when I was streaming uh, that uh, my time at Porsche, that's when I kind of felt the worst. So I don't know. But anyways, yes, negative for COVID, that's good. Um, for now, I guess, we'll see. Probably gonna take another test at home, maybe in another day or two, just to make sure. <clears throat> but, so we've got a lot to talk about today. A major amount of things to talk about, and some of them you're gonna be very happy about. The first thing we're gonna go over today is, wait till people get in, wait till people get in. It's a very big deal. I think a lot of you guys are gonna be really happy to hear this. This is a big deal. M huge deal. Big deal. Incoming. How many people are here? A hundred? How many people? Wait, are there a hundred people here? Was there a hundred people? Is there a hundred? Is there at least a hundred? Okay. This weekend, first of all, yeah, I would just relax for a second. Sit down. You're going to have to sit down for this one. This Friday, because we passed a million followers on Twitch a couple days ago, I thought, wouldn't it be fun? Maybe. I Remember I told you I had this idea? Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going for it. This Friday and Saturday, back to back, for a million followers on Twitch, ladies and gentlemen, we're going back to sorcery. That's right. I'm going to play through sorcery again. The first game that I started with on Twitch. We are rewinding all the way back to sorcery, episode one. For those of you that have no idea what this is, Good. Don't even look it up. D well, yeah, you should look it up, because it's awesome. Yeah, we're going back and redoing it, man. We're, we're, we're recycling content. That's what we're doing. That's the, that's the first game I streamed on Twitch. I think. I think, I didn't even think I had 500 viewers on those streams. It's been a long time. So we're at least going to do part one and part two. And I mean, there's a lot of new viewers here that have no idea. The sus command that you all know, sus, in the chat, is from that game. It's not 
Among Us. It's from fucking sorcery. It's sense danger. It's not sus. So we're going to do that Friday. This Friday we're going to do it. I'm going to get wicked into it. I'll have a few beers. I'll do a bunch of shitty voices. Should be fun. And then probably do that into Saturday too. Maybe. We'll see. No rewinds? We'll we'll come up with a rule set. I think it'd be fun to do though. And then <clears throat> on Sunday. Guess what's happening on Sunday? It has pretty much been confirmed. A green screen movie night. Episode three. Green screen movie night is this Sunday. And I'm ready. Now, if there is a hang-up, then we can... We'll do it another time, right? We'll do it another day or two later. But I think we're on pace to be able to do the first one at least. So that's, that's exciting. A lot of shit happening this weekend. My grandparents are coming over. Can we do this later? I... What do you mean? Can we do what later? I'm on your television right now. Hit pause and come back. Okay, hit pause right now. Just leave your... You know, leave the tab open. Whatever, you minimize the screen, whatever. Put your computer to sleep, whatever. Then come back. After and so pa so pause right now. I'll welcome you back. There you are. How was uh, time with the grandparents? See, and you got to have time with your grandparents, and now you get to watch the rest of the stream. Welcome back. Let's go. Can we switch the stream to Tuesday? No, it's sa it's Sunday. <laughs> so today. We're, I'm very excited for today. I've been waiting for this game to come back. As one of the best Bugs Bunny players in the fucking world, okay? And guess what? I can say that. Do you know why I can say that? There are 8 billion people in the world. Probably only like maybe a few million have even seen this game or played it at all, Multiverses. Of those people, Let's say maybe like 10 to 20,000 of them play Bugs Bunny. And let's say that maybe 5,000 of them have played more than 20 games as Bugs Bunny. That's small company right there. That's 5,000 people in the world. I'm one of 5,000 people on Earth, potentially. Which is insane, right? I, I can say that. <laughs> this dude's on meth? E oh, egotistical math. I can't read it, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm I'm very excited for Multiversus. This stream is, is going to be sponsored. Eventually here. There's some things that I told people I was going to do, and we have to wait a little bit. So, yeah. I'm so happy. I, I love this game. I think it's fucking awesome. And it's going to be a sponsored stream. Are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? And this is going to be drops. So just wait. We'll go over that later. But I have there's some important things to do first. I believe the drops uh, will get you access to the game. You have to watch for a certain amount of time with drops enabled. We'll get there eventually. Drops, 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 drop, drop, drops, 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 drops. That's what I want to see in the chat when I play.
Oh, stop. Come on. For those of you that don't like bugs, uh, I'm about to ruin your life. Because I have to do a bug tier list. Maybe some... I don't know. Some weirdo in the chat said, Hey, dude, you should do a bug tier list while you hang out and wait. And, do, uh, and I'm like, well, hang, okay, fine. So if you don't like bugs, if you don't like the sight of bugs, they're going to be on the screen. So I, I want to make sure people know that before I switch over right now. Bugs, 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 bugs. Spider is S rank? Nope. I think I'm going to surprise a lot of people with what my S rank bugs are. So we have to, let, let's go over what this means, right? Hold on, let me, let's go over here. What's up? Okay. So, I, there's bugs on the screen right now. So just want to make it, be aware of that. So here's how this is going to work. Yeah, somebody somebody made this list and put it in chat. It's a comedy list. All right, we're gonna there's a comedy tier. I it's I'm not gonna put. Okay, it's a comedy tier. So here's what's gonna happen. This is based on how much I like this insect, not about how effective they are in helping the environment, ecosystems, not no, nothing like that. This is just how I feel about this bug. Okay. So this is how I personally feel. So let me let me let's let's break down what this means. So if I saw one of these bugs crawl across the ground, this is the reaction like oh, 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 or like oh look. Okay? Are you ready? I don't even know I I think this is a fish. Whoever made this list, this is a comedy it's a fish. This is not a bug, it's a fish. Let's le okay, let's do this. Let's get this out of the way. This is comedy. This is Bugs Bunny. This is not a bug. This is Bumblebee, who is not a bug. It's Bumblebee, the, the character from Transformers. Cool. Hollow Knight is also... What kind of bug is Hollow Knight? A beetle? I'll, I'll put these in the right order. And by the way, why the fuck is Plock not playing? Okay. Uh, B movie? No, you're. It's a comedy thing. That's a little loud. <laughs> Let me turn it up. I'll. F this is a Mega Man character, so it, it, I'm not gonna. Who cares? This is a crab. Is this comedy? This is comedy. This is a lobster. I honestly thought this was also a lobster, but that just shows you how closely related these things are to fucking bugs. You know what I mean? Look at that. This is just a Chad and Virgin version of this animal. They're the same exact animal. They're the same exact animal. This one just had the Ninja Turtle ooze put on it. I'm sorry. And this one has like a stinger, whatever. There's two lobsters. These aren't even bugs, dude. All right, this is the first real bug. You okay? This is a lobster and a cooked lobster. What are you doing? Who gave this to me? All right, scorpion. Scorpions. Okay, if I saw a scorpion crawling across the ground, no, that's they, they fucked up. They're scary. I'm not into it. They're terrifying. And they I mean, are they cool? Not really. Sure, I guess they're... I don't hate scorpions. I'm not afraid of them, but... I would put it in C. I just... Yeah, who cares? Should I, should I do my S one? Because people are going to... People are going to hate me for this. Are you ready for my S tier bug? I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Because I know exactly which one it is. And people are going to freak out. I don't hate these. I think these are cute. I think these are fun. They have like little faces. 
I don't actually hate these. And I know people are going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I, in fact, think earwigs are really, really interesting animal. I think they're really cute. I think they're really interesting. I, d I pe pe people hate earwigs. Why? They don't hurt. They don't bite anybody. They don't do anything. They just kind of walk around and they're, they're cute. This is a cockroach? No, it's not. An earwig is not a cockroach. And they have like a cool, uh, like, cut. Uh, but I don't think it's all the way at S tier, but I think it's up there. Oh, we can't see S tier. Well, now you can. Uh, this is comedy. Ants are high too. Is it okay? That's that's red ants though. Are there regular ants instead of red ants? Just ant. Because that's a fire ant technically, right? Which I wouldn't put fire ant up at a. Uh, at a. They they're they're scary. Can it just be, like, ant in general? <laughs> Fucking beetles. <laughs> Can I just say this is just, just an ant? Let's just, because if it's a fire ant, I don't want it up there. But regular ants are really cute. Also, when I was younger, I used to love this movie called Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Uh, Rick Moranis was in it. And there was a scene where Auntie protects them from the scary scorpion. And Auntie was awesome. Auntie helps the kids. And uh, fuck this thing. You know what I mean? I like ants. So, that's how I feel. What is this? What is that thing? I don't know. It, whatever it is, it's dumb. It's an aphid. Oh, these things are all of a plant and they're annoying. Uh, yeah, get rid of these. I hate these things. These things just appear magically on all of your crops. They're the worst. This is a butterfly. Butterflies are, I mean, it's easy to put butterfly up at S. And I'm going to. And it's, yeah, I would, it's cooler than an earwig. Bumblebee. Is this, no, this is a honeybee or uh, whatever. Just bee in general. Bee is S tier. I'm going to shrink this a little bit so you can see more of it. There we go. That's better. Okay. Uh, what is this? Is this like a kind of a cool beetle? I don't know what that is. Bees are based? Yeah, bees are based. It's definitely us. What's that called? A, a, a bee drill? That's a stink bug? That's American beetle? Butterfly S. This is a uh, this is a pre-evolution butterfly. I actually I don't know what something about the way they move is weird. I'm gonna put it down at B. F for a centipede. No thanks. That's cool. Whatever it is. This is a crane fly. I I would put this at F, but I'm gonna put this up here because everybody always points at these and goes, "No, they're good. They don't hurt. They don't bite you." What do you mean F from, what do you mean moth at A? What, what are you talking about? This is moth. So what? Moths suck. A moth is a butterfly from like different parents. What, what's with this, this anti-moth propaganda that I've been seeing? Why do you like butterflies but not moths? Explain that to me. Because moths, like, will... will I, don't, I don't... Please don't, explain it to me. They're just a fuzzy butterfly. Now, some moths are kind of weird and gross. I agree with you. But not all of them are. It's a... It's, a, it's just a fuzzy butterfly. You like these because they have prettier colors. Oh, this one's blue, therefore I like it. Huh. I, I, okay, I, I think butterflies are more like, look, oh, they, they drink, and moths are, aren't they like nocturnal? 
They're like the cool, like, nighttime version of butterflies. They're cool. That's cool. I don't know why everybody hated moths up for, for no reason. I think it's just because that people think of moths and they think of the weird, like, paper mache white ones, right? And everyone's like, ugh, gross! The ones that are like, they look like, like, like paper mache. And everybody, then everybody hates all the other ones. It's weird. Yeah. I, I, moths are fine. I, moths are fine. They can be, they can be cute. Moths ate my pants. Well, keep your closet door closed. Keep your... I, you know, what are you even talking? Inspect your clothing once in a while. If a moth is able to eat your entire wardrobe, you probably should have paid attention to what was going on in your closet. Would you just open your closet one day and there's like 12 moths in there just eating the, your whole, all your fucking dress shirts? Like, what are you talking about? Keep an eye on your shit. Is this a locust? Because these are F. Is this a grasshopper or a locust? What? When was the last time you opened up your closet? That's a cricket? Oh, this is a good, this is one of the good ones. Here it is. Grasshoppers are green. Oh, it's a cricket. Crickets are <laughs> really fucking annoying. Dude, there was a cricket outside last night. I swear to God, I always wanted to record it, like just get audio recorded. Cause this thing was so loud and it was going super speed. It wasn't This guy, was looking for somebody. It was like, just like, what is it? It was, it was hurt. It was like static. I couldn't stand it. It was just like, but the cricket sound, and that went on for hours and hours and hours. They had to like turn a fan on to block it out. It was horrible. Uh, they're cute. They're fine. I don't have a problem with crickets. It was really down bad cricket. <laughs> I just imagine him sitting on his back with his legs in the air. Just like, come on! There's gotta be somebody out there! Looks <laughs> like his legs catch fire. <laughs> Dragonflies, S tier, don't even need to spend time on it. Don't even need to spend time on it, Dragonflies, Esther. Please rate non-insects. I, I, look, I know there's a lot of, uh, a lot of... Let me turn this down. It's kind of loud for me. I know that dragonflies are really awesome because they're kind of like hummingbirds. Where you almost feel blessed when a dragonfly comes near you. You put your hand, you're like, oh my god, because they're one of the only animals on Earth that will freeze in front of you and stop time. What do you mean false? Yeah, a hummingbird sometimes, you, especially out here, you'll just be sitting outside, just hanging out, you'll hear, and the world stops, all time stops. And it's just this thing... Frozen, floating in front of you. Just... It's like, holy shit, and then mm, they're gone. And it's just like, whoa. Like, I feel like magical dust just got kind of sprinkled on me. Dragonflies do that. A dragonfly will come zooming by. Zoom, 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 zoom. I love it. It's so cool. That's why they're up at S. And they're, by the way, they're cooler than butterflies. Put moth and S tier, please. I, I, uh, we'll see, maybe. Dung beetle, uh, I want to put this at S tier because they're funny. And they do like that, they move it. Yeah, come on. They're so fun. I, I could, okay. 
If there was a a YouTube channel or like a Twitch channel that just streamed dung beetles pushing around shit all day, it would just be in the background. I would just have it up all day. It'd be up all day. No, that doesn't go in comedy tier. They're not a comedy insect. This is just somebody put these in here to be funny. There's another moth. I'll put it up here. There's another fuzzy one. What is that? Whatever this is, this is cool looking. I like it. I don't know what it is. Those are pill bugs? That's a firefly? Yup. What a remarkable creature. This thing can produce light out of its anus. No, nobody else can do that. No other monster on Earth can do that. No creatures on Earth can do that. It just generates light. How? That makes no sense. Like an anglerfish? Yeah. There are a couple of creatures on this strange, wild Earth that we have that they can just make light from nothing. How do you make light without electricity or without some type of source? It's just so strange to me. How, do they, how does it work? It's magic. It's a chemical reaction. That's what I mean. It's so weird. So chemicals mixed together can make light? What? It's bioluminescence. Some fucking scientist made that up. <laughs> what you should have said is... <laughs> It's a glow stick. I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just I just made a lot of people very upset. And I'm, I was fucking kidding. Just relax. So it's like a, oh, a glow stick. Yeah, you go. <laughs> Keep us. I'm fucking kidding. Relax, everybody. Just slow down. Does he actually? But stop. Oh, my God. Oh, we're moving on. This is like a pea pod. It gets F. There's a kangaroo bug F. Fly F. I, okay. Let me tell you a quick little story about flies. I love most creatures on Earth. I do. But I don't know what it is. If I saw any of these, I wouldn't want to smash it with a shoe as hard as I can. Right? Like some, you sometimes, yeah, it's like, okay, oh, okay, get it, get it, get it. Something about a house fly. Makes me just want to just smash. Just smash it. I hate them. When I see and hear those motherfuckers, I swear to God, it just triggers something in me. Where I'm just like, get a get out of my house. Get away from me. Don't come near me. I hate them. Ugh. And they make, they piss you off because they're so hard to get rid of. Because they, 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 flies see the world and a lot of insects see the world. In my opinion, we've talked about this a little bit briefly. Insects, you know when you go to slam something, you end up being like the attack on Titan, like colossal Titan, and it's like, you're moving in slow motion. All these bugs that have their heart rates at like 6,000 beats per minute, whatever the hell it is, they, they are just like perceiving the world at like 0.2 times speed. So that's why they can dodge you all the time. The reason why bugs only live like fucking 12 days is because their 12 days is like 50 years to us. Just look at how an insect reacts. Just look at an insect under a microscope, whatever the hell they do. Or with like a, a times like 50 million to zoom camera. Their eyes and their hands, it's like they... <coughs> it's fucking crazy. There's no way they don't perceive the world like 400 times slower than we do. Birds do this too. Birds being able to go from here to hear by the time that you blink your eyes is it just uh, that's like mechanical birds are almost mechanical bugs are almost mechanical it's wild but i want to crush them every time i see these guys because they dodge everything and they they don't care most of these other bugs will just leave you alone like an earwig for instance based an earwig is just going to kind of, like, I'm an earwig, and just kind of walk around, and who cares? 
these don't won't leave you alone. They land on your head. They land on your food. They get they're horrible. They they won't leave you the fuck alone. Most of these others just kind of live their life. Dung beetle doesn't give a shit if you're taking like like. I was gonna, never mind. I was gonna say taking a shit next to them, but they would probably really care about that. This guy does. This guy would freak out and would would be all over you. None of these care if you of your existence. Earwigs, ants, they just kind of do their own thing. They these are in your business all the time. They're the worst insect, besides like a tick and a mosquito. Which if they're on here, they're getting put in F. Here they are, F. What purpose does a mosquito serve? Besides to just be annoying to every single other species on Earth. I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. Yeah, I, okay. Am I weird for saying this? Little fruit flies, I hate them and I can't stand being near them. But if this thing is like three or four inches long and walks across my floor, I'm not going to freak out. I'm going to go, whoa, that's awesome. That's so cool. And I'm going to put uh, an old piece of mail down so they can get on it. And I'm going to slowly help them get back outside. And it's going to be a story. It's going to be this weird storyline that I make up. Like, oh, I'm like, I helped. These things. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Yeah. Wait, you guys don't do that? Based bug saver. I don't know what this is, but it's cooler than a uh, than a scorpion. What is that? This looks like this guy's wearing a Halloween costume. This looks like something you would find in the aisle at Target. Like it shoots discs out of it or something. What is this? Uh, what is that? Is it a cicada? 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 Wait, are these the things that make the, like, emergency broadcast sound? Yeah. F. What is that? I don't know what that is, but it looks, it looks kind of weird. I don't, not... This thing is cool. This thing's got a cool giraffe neck. It's going up at B. B. Like a scarab? Gra I actually don't really like grasshoppers. They freak me out. They can move too quickly. I mean, they're too erratic. Grasshoppers and locusts are in the same category for me. Because... <sighs> okay, you know, you know those toys that you press them in and you put them on the ground? They're a little circle. They're like a little like a dollop they're like this big and you it's made out of like silicone or plastic or whatever and you push the middle and you leave it on the ground and then after a little bit it pop and it just kind of just goes in a random direction that's what those things do you, yeah you like flip them upside down you press them in flip them upside down put them flat and they a grasshopper will just be sitting there and all of a sudden will just pop in a direction and it's just blah i don't know where they're going that's why i don't like them this thing's kind of gross. I don't know what it is. This is a big beetle. Cool. I'll fix this. Don't worry. This is a hermit crab. It's a comedy list. Is this a honeybee? Because if it's a honeybee, it's probably the best. Oh, ha -ha. Even just the... You know what's so kind of annoying about doing this list and we kind of get to see our own bullshit? The difference between this and this is really nothing at all. The difference between this and this is just how the way that it looks, right? It's really not that different. It's, it's a bug and it looks pretty similar. But man, my re I know that these things are kind of vicious and they're horrible or whatever, right? 
But I, I, my reaction to this is, oh, look it, he's got a cute little face. My reaction to this is, get it the fuck away from me and and remove it from every city on Earth, right? It's kind of, it's crazy, right? This one's just like cute and does nice things for the environment. That's why we like it. And this one's, I, I think this thing just, just kills stuff. Yeah, there's a reason why we hate these. This is like a fly that somebody's stepped on already. What? This is just the version of this that got like stepped on. What is that? It's a horse fly? Oh, get out of here. What is this little thing? Look at this guy. Look at how cute that is. What is that thing? It's a. This is not a bug. This is not a bug, it's a shrimp. Ladybug up here at least at A. I'll figure it out. <laughs> this is just a squeeze of black paint. This is this is acrylic paint. This is not what is this? This is not even an animal. It's a leech F. This is some kind of weird tick or something, F. This is cool looking. Oh, yeah. The mantis. Explain this to me, though. This is another thing that I, I don't understand. This insect is a murderer, is a cannibal, kills everything, is incredibly dangerous. But we all go, yay, yes, yay. This is a killer. It's incredibly dangerous. They're mean. And we all go, ew, no, boo. Why? If you put your finger near this thing, it's going to grab you with its spike hands. And it's going to try to eat your hand. And it hates you. They, they do similar kind of things. The mantises don't hurt me. Oh. They need to make a Pixar movie about this one. And then maybe people won't hate it anymore. <laughs> what would that even be? Aren't these called murder hornets? Disney Pixar presents Murder Hornet. And it's just him like... <laughs> just... Dick and like ass first through somebody's like head. Well, how would you even make that movie? Never mind. F. Gross. Gross. Yep. F. All the way to the bottom. Okay, this is one of the. This is the type of moth that everybody says they hate, right? Which I agree. They're kind of like. Meh. Yeah, I'd put them in the same category as this. I put them higher than... No. Well, think about it, right? My reaction to seeing a moth like this is... Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, a moth got in. Right? You don't care. My reaction to seeing this is... Uh, what do we do about that? Right? Like, you, you, you kind of don't care if this is in your house. I've seen, at some point, like, three of these just kind of floating around. And I'm just like, oh, whatever. I don't care. So it's definitely probably higher than. I just genuinely don't. I'm just indifferent to them. What a filthy house. Filthy. What, because a, a, a couple of moths were in the house one time? Guys, I remember I stayed over at a relative's house one time. It was a long time ago. And they had this place up kind of in, like, the woods. And I'm not kidding. It was... They were probably... If you just were lying... I remember lying in bed and looking up at the ceiling. And just guessing if whether or not the, 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 like, the dozens of, like, kind of specks that were on the ceiling. And the dozens of little things that were on the walls. If they were bugs or just marks. 
and it turned out all of them were bugs. I remember seeing just like just shadows just floating. You know, you can see the shadow sometimes. You just see it kind of pass by the light. Just whoom, whoom, whoom. So when you're in a situation like that, I, uh, I put, you put your head under the covers and you try to get a full night's sleep by being completely protected by the, by the covers. But you gotta be, you have to give yourself like kind of like a, like a, a hole for your mouth to like, <sighs> but then you start to have the panic attack where you go, wait, this is the only entryway to me and it's in my mouth and they're all going to fly in my mouth and I'm going to eat them. I'm going to be like, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and there's going to be like seven like dead bugs in my mouth. <laughs> I still do this every time before I, I go to sleep. I just check kind of every corner. I'm just like, okay. I like shake the blankets a couple times. All right, where are you? Anything here? Turn the lights off. Turn the lights on. Well, no. Okay. You check. Look at this little guy. What is that thing? What's this like pistachio bug? Oh, this is cool. That's a stag beetle. That's a stag beetle. What was this one again? S tier? Well, hold on. I, uh, this is, this is, this list is not correct, but let me get everything up there first. Um, I don't really know what this thing is, but it kind of looks weird. Ooh, look at this guy. This one has a chrome finish. It's cool. This is a shrimp. Oh, fuck these things. These are the things that are underneath a box in your garage. Get rid of these. Slug, is a slug a bug? I thought uh, slugs are not a bug, are they? Are they a bug? I don't think of insect when I think of a, a slug. They're cool, though. Slugs are cool because they kind of look up and they, they, their antennas are like... Anytime you, you, if you go near, they kind of do this. They go like... They look around. They're cool. They're mollusks. Yeah, they're not really a bug, are they? They're cool, though. A snail. A snail's the... Yeah. Snail's just like an armored slug. Did these go in comedy? It's a crab. This is just literally me in a Spider-Man costume. This is just, this is the Spider-Man symbol. It's not even, this is not even a physical object. Oh, dude. Bite beetle, whatever this is called. I don't know, I don't, I don't like that one. Th this is, this is in every Nintendo game, first party. I don't know, whatever it is. Um, it's, it's like C. Alright, the list is getting a little big here. This is another butterfly that can go back, that can stay at S. This is a worm. The list is getting big, we gotta move this a little more. The list is getting bigger! This soundtrack really is good, isn't it? Okay. So now... This is a worm? Oh, but uh, worms aren't bugs. You can't hear the soundtrack? 
Yeah, you can. Worms aren't bugs either. What music? You can hear it quite. Um. This is a wait. This is a parasite. What do you mean? This is a parasite. What do you mean by that? Is this a, this a tapeworm? Oh. Hey. This is a soapy jid. Thank you. And they are cool. You know why? Because they eat the scorpions. These things eat the scorpions. It's a termite. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I wonder where I'm going to put Tick. What kind of sick motherfucker would put this here? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, man. Tick. Tick, 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 tick. Who, who, why would you put this here? Like, put the air guitar down, dude. Ticks suck. Why would this ever be higher than F? What? Why? You, you, you're you making shit up if you... If, if this... If you put this higher than C, you're making it up. You're making it up to seem, like, harsh. You know what I'm saying? No one is ever going to put this in B. You're making it up. Stop making it up. Just, you don't have to do that. This, this, this is the one of the worst insects in the world. Everybody hates these things. Nobody likes this. You don't have to pretend to be like, Oh yeah, I mean, like, I like that, it sucks blood! <laughs> Stop! You, nobody, you don't have to do that. Don't do that. Just put it in F with everybody else. Just put it down here, like, with everybody else. No one's doing that. Yeah, I'm making up, it's called a straw man argument. Go look it up. It's, it's literally half my conversations. What is this? I don't know, it's green and I like it. Wait, it's a flea? No, it's not. Don't some of these look like they're taken from a certain perspective where this could be as big as a dog? Can you imagine? That just like freaks me out. Would that be better or worse? It would be a Jurassic period bug. Well, I mean, like, just for, for, like, for the environment, right? If bees were as big as a small house cat, would that be better for the environment? That Would that be worse? Than, it would be much worse. <laughs> It'd be worse for us. <laughs> but what's, what? okay, like an earthworm, right? Where's the earthworm? The good old earthworm. If these were as big as like a like a gas pipeline, right? If they were huge, like Tremor style, would that be better or worse for the world? If these were huge. But they weren't gonna hurt anybody. Alright, no no no. Forget about if they were as big as like a whole like pipeline or something. If they if if an earthworm was as big as a house cat. Or a bit like as big as a dog and as like a, like a snake. If they were as big as like a, a python, wouldn't that be better for the soil? They they would be um, kind of moving more soil, right? It's an earthworm. I'm not talking about like a scorpion. It would mess up foundations of houses. Yeah. I don't fucking know, Germa. Just rank them. You want to me to be out of this, don't you? You're o you're over this. You're done with this segment. You don't want this segment anymore. At the end of the day, who cares, right? Does this really matter to anybody? Does it really matter where I put bugs on a tier list? Does it? This 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 is meaningless. It's fucking meaningless. It's meaningless. I can understand, like, fast food restaurants and soft drinks 
and different cheeses, but bugs? Wow, I'm out of tier lists, huh? No more to do. This is it. This, this is where we are now. I hate these things. Just the thought. Not Wait, not these ones. The ones that are under the water. You guys know the ones I'm talking about? The ones that dive? Oh, those are so gross. What are the ones that dive called? The ones that you can, in, in pools across America, they're shaped like a little oval and they have two legs that just go like this. Oh, my God. I remember being in a pool and just having the goggles on and just jumping in the pool and just going face to face with one of these little aliens just swimming underground or under underwater. Oh, I, they was oh, I just hated it. This is a walrus. This is not that's, that's a walrus. What's this next one? This is a cartoon. This is I don't know what that is. This is a crab. No, this is one of those Australian spiders. Which yeah, no, fuck that. This is half of a picture of something. I don't know what that is. And this is, I don't know, like that. This is, this is the thing that like kids put on the end of their pencils where the eraser is. This is just a th an eraser toy thing. This is not even an animal. All right, let me fix this. Where's the music? This is not the music I wanted. I can't connect. Kirby 64, the crystal shards. That's fine. Whatever. That's a fuzzy caterpillar. That's kind of cute. It's not, uh, it's probably like C tier. All right, let me, let me start from the top here. Okay. So, honeybee. That's probably the best. Firefly. These are probably the best. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Praying Mantises are really cool, though. Then those of you remember Cromwell was the Praying Mantis that was with the uh, hanging out with the sunflowers. Dung beetles are cooler than butterflies. Ladybugs are cooler than butterflies. In fact, butterflies are going to go down at A. Because, I mean, they're cool, but they're just... They're like the... They're like the vanilla ice cream of the bug world. It's just, yeah, vanilla ice cream's fine. They're cool, and it tastes good, and I would, I would, it would be fine. But I don't... It's like, it's cool, but it's just kind of just generic in a way. It's great, but there are so many other things that I think are more interesting than butterflies. They're just generically great. Generally good. Forget about what I said about taste. I'm just talking about just making a uh, comparison. Would I rather have an earwig or a slug in my house? I really don't mind these. They they have such a cute face. If you okay, if you've never seen the face of an earwig, have you actually looked at Best Buy's hardware selection lately? Get out of my Discord call, whoever you are. Um, what was that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> they have a cute face. And they look at you. They look up and they're like, Hello, it's me, it's me Earwig. They're, everyone hates Earwigs. Earwigs literally crawl into your brain through your ear. That is horseshit. It's not real. That's just somebody from like the fucking 1400s made that up for one day because they I don't know what they were doing no that doesn't happen they used to say that happened back when the like the queen ruled the earth okay 
that, 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 this is not real. This doesn't happen to people. I feel like just fucking getting up and like spinning with this one going. This is too much. I have to like lower the volume. Alternate history, Andy. Okay, this nobody has an earwig in their ear. It's just called earwig because some somebody, like a fucking thousand years ago, was I don't know. Just maybe they had one in their ear. Who knows what they were putting in their ears at the time? You're talking about like the fucking 15, 1600s. They were probably putting, like, fucking, like, ground beef in their ears to cure the common cold. Of course a bug's gonna go in their ear. They were probably putting, like, delicious succulent honey in both of their ears to pre prevent coughing. You know, come on. I don't buy that. So is it any surprise? All right, this staying up there. Okay, I really actually wouldn't want to see an ant in my house because that means that you have ants, and they follow the. If there's a bunch of them, I don't. You know what I mean? It's like okay, I gotta, I gotta take care of this. I have to be, I have to be like, what am I, what do I do about this? You don't want. I don't mind ants. I think they're cute, but you don't want ants. Seeing one ant, two ants, like oh okay, look an ant, but once you turn the corner, and there's. Like, ten? You're like, okay. This is a problem. This turned into a problem. But what about Ant-Man? Don't worry, we'll get to that. Don't worry, we'll get to that. By the way, how is there not a single spider on this whole list? Besides the jokes. There's no spider on this list. That's weird. Um, okay. All right, so let's let's continue. That's fine. This is fine. Um, do I really like these this much? I mean, yeah, not really. I would probably rather see these in the house. Than any of these. I mean, come on, it's like they're, they're beautiful. Why would you be upset about that? This is a lot of these are changing here. What is this? No, you. Got, I'm not gonna put this up here just because you you see it's cute and it's in Pokemon. I'm not putting it up here. These things suck. There's a lot of Fs. You ever have that moment when you're looking at a bug? Because the hardest part with this, especially with any insect, there are like 400 billion different types of insects of the same genes and shit, right? So you, I'll look at a bug and I'll be like, oh, cool, look at this little beetle. Look at how cute. Wait, I got a raid? Oh, there's a raid from Cottontail. Cottontail VA, thanks for the raid. Welcome, everybody. We're raiding bugs. What's up? Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. We're raiding bugs right now. And then we're going to play multiverses. It's going to be fun. Ow! I can't do that unless I have, like, have had two coffees, and I haven't had that yet. Okay, so let's go. What was I saying? Oh, right. Okay. So there's, there's like, millions of different kinds of, kinds of bugs and, and types of insects, right? So if you see, like, a cute beetle, you don't- there's no way to know what the hell it even really actually is. It could be something really shitty. And you're sitting there going, whoa, cool beetle. What is that? Does this thing have poison in it? And you'll get it wrong. Oh, that's definitely, that's a, that's a, 
that's a carpenter bee or something, right? And it's just wrong. And it was a fucking mo a moth and it stung you in the mouth. What? I have to turn this off. This is like making my brain all messed up. It's speech jamming me and making me say weird things. Okay. But you know what I mean? Like, you'll just get it wrong, and then you- Oh, I'm gonna rescue this bug! And it turns out, why'd you rescue that bug? It just ate all your plants, and like, killed 50 other bugs. That were good bugs. And you did that. You- you could've- you know, you should've gotten rid of that bug. It's so hard to tell. Like, you might save this bug, and go look it up online, and it's like, Oh yeah, by the way, if you see any of these, get rid of them immediately. They will breed, and you'll have 50 million in your backyard within two, three days. And you're just like, okay, that was great. I just was trying to be like a nice guy and like not been saved like my beetle friend. That's what earwigs do. Can you shut up, man? Do earwigs do that? Okay, so when I, when I see an earwig, and listen to this music, right? Imagine an earwig looking up at you, and he's like... And I'm like, oh, get the envelope! Save him! And I get the envelope, and I put it out, get him on the envelope, and I put him outside. Am I just creating another 5,000 earwigs? And then, and then the next day, it's like three that you see. And you're like, oh, wow, cool, let's save these three. To the same fucking soundtrack. <laughs> you oh, save us. <laughs> Here come another 50 in your house. And they're all dancing in a line. Doing one antenna, two antenna, one antenna, two antenna. Top hat, top hat, top hat. It's like, well, 50 earwigs. Oh my God, they're so cute. Get the, get the envelope. They all start crawling on it. You get them out. You save them. Save the earwigs. And then it, it, uh, it, it, me lying down in bed three days later, and I'm drifting off to sleep. Ah, <sighs> what a nice day that was today. And the second that I fall asleep and I go into REM, they can sense it. And two thousand earwigs just make a trail up the bed, and just go into my brain to this music. And they all going in, digging in like. <laughs> Who's like eating pieces of my brain matter, and I'm just asleep. And this, and, and, and some of them are still dancing with the top hat. Is that what you think? Is that what you're saying is going to happen to me? <laughs> oh, because I saved the earwig. I didn't want to kill the earwig. That already happened. Why do you think you're like this? I don't see an earwig in this room. I don't see, I don't, there's no earwigs crawling over the lens of the camera. Do you see one? I don't see one. It's because they're inside of you. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. Next uh, up, oh, we're gonna do real quick. This is a, uh, but here's my list. I think it's accurate. That's uh, that's accurate. The next one is a bug movie tier list. Uh, I I guess we're gonna stay with this theme here for a little bit. This one won't take long, and then we'll play multiverses. <laughs> Why is Pinocchio on this list? Oh, because Jiminy, because, oh, Cricket. <laughs> Sp <laughs> Spider-Man is on the list. But that's, that, that doesn't make any sense. Spider-Man is not a spider. He's a guy with a suit on that was bit by a spider. Neither is Ant-Man. So these are both D. 
I'm sorry, this does not fit the criteria. It doesn't fit the criteria. <laughs> hold on. Oh shit, hold on a second. No, it doesn't, it, it, it does not fit the criteria. It has to be a movie based on an insect where the main character is potentially an insect. Insect, not guy in a suit and he calls himself an insect name, right? But could you say that the spider that bites Spider-Man is essentially the character of Spider-Man? Ant-Man's not an ant. He just calls himself Ant-Man because he can shrink and grow. That doesn't make any sense. All right, this is a bug's life. I haven't seen any. I've, I haven't seen any of these movies in probably ten years. Ants. This movie is weird. Dune. I haven't seen Dune. Freaks. I don't know what that is. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That's S. James and the Giant Peach. Uh, that I remember this being okay. Men in Black. S. Pinocchio. Um, no, B. It's two different Spider-Man movies. Three Spider-Man movies. <laughs> Starship Troopers was crazy. Tremors, I haven't seen it in a long time. Turbo. Turbo to me almost feels like I've, I know the movie existed, but it feels like a mobile game ad that I watched. I, I, right? I, I, don't, I don't have like a memory of this. What movie is this? Is this Alien? What movie is this? The Fly? <laughs> I mean, Pinocchio, could I put Pinocchio here? It's just Pinocchio. This was our, I, th but this was the, the animated kind of stop motion one, right? I just haven't seen any of these in so long. I really don't even care. B movie. B, B movie is like Morbius, guys. You only like the movie because you saw copy pasta one time. This is nobody. This, this is not a good movie. This is not a good movie. This uh, you only like B movie because somebody made a gif of the whole movie and it plays in five seconds, and it's funny and. And Jerry Seinfeld's in it. Let's see. <laughs> That's a bad take. No, it's not. It's it's just like a general animated movie with Jerry Seinfeld. I mean, it's sure it's fine, but it's, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's the worst ever take. B movies are actually good. I just remember them in a car. Like they were driving in like these cars going to work or something. And that's when I fell asleep in the hotel room. I don't I didn't want I didn't watch this because I wanted to. I don't think anybody's ever seen this movie. It's not S. I'll put it at B because that's funny. These, I mean, the Spider-Man movies are great, but it's not really, it doesn't make any sense. Alien should be higher. This isn't Aliens. You said this is the fly. That's not the fly. This is like, what is that? I can't read it. It's cut off. It's called, it's actually the fly. Men in Men in Black has bugs. I mean the the main the main character the main antagonist of Men in Black is a bug. He's the bug. He's an alien, but he's a bug alien. He's an alien bug. 
the main character and and a spider-man is not a spider he's a superhero that got bit by a spider Bef the, the movies aren't even about the spider the movies are about spider-man taking on crime and fighting people he shoots webs not in these ones not in the sam raimi ones excuse me he has a device on his arms doesn't shoot webs out of his arms have you seen the movie? Oops. Which one's more accurate to the book? Okay, which one's more accurate to the book? The web coming out of his arm or the devices? Which one's more accurate to the book? The device is more accurate to the book. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it means he's not a spider. It means he's a guy that can shoot webs that he got made in a laboratory. He's not a spider. He's a man that has abilities of a spider that also is supplemented by technology. Ant-Man uses ants. Where even is Ant-Man? He does? I don't... All right, who cares? Let's play multiverses. <laughs> who cares? He controls ants? He controls ants? I No, he doesn't. He does like quantum physics. When does he control ants in the movie? He controls ants. He does? I've seen these movies before. You, wait, so you're telling me that in the movie, Ant-Man at some point goes like this. And the, and the millions of ants do his bidding. Have I just said forget the whole movie? <laughs> no, he doesn't fucking do that. He does not go like... No, you're... Sorry, guys. You're, you're thinking of... Um, what was that movie with the guy that controlled the rats? Willard? You're thinking of Willard. That happened. That's a different movie. He rides an ant. What? Did I forget this whole movie? No fucking way. Ant Man trailer. No way. I don't believe it. Why is it so weirdly shaped? Where are the ants? A soldier, the size of an insect, the ultimate secret weapon. There's no ants. I've been watching you for a while. <laughs> okay, hold on. You're different. And I believe everyone deserves a shot at redemption. Do you? Did I not watch this one? Did I only watch the sequel? Days of breaking into places and stealing stuff. I don't remember him breaking into places and stealing stuff. What do you want me to do? I want you to break into a place and steal some stuff. Makes sense. I never watched this one. To become the hero. I only watched the, the sequel. Now, the suit has power. <laughs> I never watched this movie. Control it. And these are your greatest allies. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I never watched this movie. I've never seen this movie. I've never seen this movie. 
Holy shit, I was so wrong. Oh my god, I was wrong. He controls the ants. He's Ant-Man. Of course he is. Show me how to punch. Oh my goodness. Wow. I just pretended to watch this one, man. Now, it's going to blow up in your face and destroy everyone you care about. Okay. But hold on a minute. Hold on a second, guys. They made all these... Was, the ants were such a big deal in the first movie. Why were there no ants in the second movie? Why were there no ants in the second movie? No, there's no ants in the second movie. There are no ants I've seen in the second movie. They, like, go into, like, the quantum realm and... Who's what even happens in the second movie? I don't whatever, I don't care. An ant plays the drums in the second movie. <laughs> All right, give me 2 seconds. We're going to play multiverses. I'm excited. I am very ready. Are you guys ready? For me to go nuts in multiverses? I am. You're literally insane. I, I'm sorry, I just did not see the first movie. And I thought I did. I have this distinct dream where I've seen it already. I don't know why. I have this insane dream world. <laughs> 